start with how you know how badly you felt this team needed a performance like this after a long four or five days since the loss to TCU. Yeah, no, it, it was definitely necessary. I mean, obviously the TCU game was very bad for us, but on top of that, I mean, you go back through the whole whole non-conference. There's not there hasn't really been a game where we really put it to anybody. It's like we won most of them, and it is what it is. But there hasn't been. Uh, you know, like a blowout, like us dominating another team. And I think tonight we were able to do that, and that's a good sign for us going forward. 27 points and 10 rebounds for you, your third double-double of the year. Do you feel like you're playing the best basketball of your collegiate career right now? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I think I'm trending in the right direction, but I feel as though I've been playing pretty average through the non-conference, and uh, I need to ramp up on play and then do better for my team. I felt good. I was just more so happy that my teammates were looking for me, trying to get me the ball and telling me to keep shooting. I uh, know I'm a great shooter, so it's just more so getting the attempts up. That way I can make as many threes as possible. Zach, uh, have you gotten a chance to catch up with Quincy Oliveri after his first NBA points the other night? Um, you, got, you can't help but think in a game like this, he, could, he would have put up quite a few points oh, himself. Yeah, he, uh, he crazy tonight but um I, I haven't spoke with him since that but we have been in touch you know since he's been over there and whatnot and uh he's just he, you know he, yeah y'all know Quincy he's so happy to be where he is and I'm, I'm very happy for him deal with Curry brand is pretty cool too can't lie that's that's pretty dope <laughs> Zach the the version that we saw of Marcus tonight is a version that I think you've seen a lot this year. But to see him do it at this point in the season when his team really needs him, that version of him, what what are your, your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, Marcus is a great player. Um, obviously, he's a very you know cool and collected player. He, his game's real even keel. And uh, we need that steady presence from him. And uh, yeah, like he said, the more shots he can get up, honestly, the better for Xavier. So we're just going to keep looking for him. Marcus, maybe start with you, but is that just one of the joys of college basketball at the end where you, you know, guys walk ons or guys like Brad get to go in the game and, and hit a big shot? That's, yes, that's definitely part of it in the non conference uh, part of the season. We definitely want to, you know, dominate like Zach's been wanting to. That way, guys like Brad and Ian can get in the game. And when they do score, we are super happy for them. So I'm just glad we were able to put it to the team today. That way, we can have a total domination. Marcus, everyone knows what's on deck on Saturday. What have you been told from teammates or, or learned about the Crosstown shootout? Uh, just that I need to be ready to shoot the ball. 